Today, the European Court of Justice has gone ahead to rule that all the blocks that FIFA and UEFA we are putting on the Super League are really, really very, very unrealistic and they've gone ahead to obviously call them off. And now, everyone was waiting to see how his club is obviously going to, re to react after the Super League had been given a go-ahead to obviously operate and obviously continue. Everyone was really looking through what they are obviously going to do. But as it stands, it looks like teams have gone ahead obviously coming through. And in the Premier League, Manchester United have been the first to come through to distance themselves from the Super League and they've gone ahead to stand with what their fans really decided way back. I think that was in 2021 when everything was laid out there. The Super League is coming in through to see to it that the top teams in Europe form a league whereby every team will be hosting seven games and playing seven away. Three divisions and their teams that were not going to be relegated. Teams like Man United, Arsenal, Manchester City, uh, Liverpool, Chelsea, Real Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Juventus, Inter Milan, AC Milan, you know, those traditional teams, we are not going to be relegated. So, teams that would, would, would be relegated are those ones that don't have huge history as far as this game of football was really concerned. Something that was like shelling, you know, these big teams in a position where teams like teams that don't have the history they have cannot really come close to them. So, this was be this was bad it raised a lot of storm and it led to the sacking of ed woodward and he left the club of Manchester united and he never wanted to leave that is it though when he put out a story that he's leaving they also added that he was planning to retire for richard arnold to come in through and trust me there was no way richard arnold sorry there was no way ed woodward was willing to obviously come in through and really get himself out of the club of man united but it was a forceful a forceful decision and he took it because he really never wanted to leave. But the fans just went ahead to note it that he had gone ahead to really betray the history of Man United. Because when you look at the history of Man United from the Busby Babes who died in Munich, you know, when they are coming in, I think, from East, Eastern Europe to play into the Champions League and a plane crashed in Munich, you know, that is Champions League football. And that's where our history is. Then the Champions League title of 1999, the way we won it, you know, that's what went ahead, obviously, make United the team that it is right now. And when you look at people like Edward were trying to ruin it because he was at the top, you know, he was at the helm of it as a, a vice president, by the way. Fiorentino Perez was the president of the Super League and is still. And then Ed Woodward was the vice president. And the Glazers too were at the helm. And he saw to it that the Glazers went ahead and obviously said, all right, let Ed Woodward leave. But for them, they never left. So welcome to the channel, United Matters channel. How are you guys? And where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash like button, comment and share. If at all you are, if at all you are watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I go by the names of Rock and David and... You can as well call me already. Subscribe to this channel because you want to hit um, how many subscribers do we have? Let me check. Um, we are having uh, 16,000. I hope we can hit 17,000 before the end of this year and that is going to come to pass. So, I was giving a synopsis of how things have gone ahead to transpire to where we are right now. And the United have gone ahead to issue out a statement that I was really eagerly waiting for to see the position of Manchester United. And they've said, Manchester United has issued the following statement in reaction to today's judgment by the European Court of Justice on the European Super League. They've said, our position has not changed. We remain fully committed to participation in UEFA competitions and to, po and, and to positive cooperation with UEFA the Premier League and fellow clubs through the ECA on the continued development of the European game. So, I don't expect to see any English team siding with this side because they know what the Premier League is all about. And I've always told you that Barcelona, when they are dominating Europe, you know, and Real Madrid, 
the English side never thought about the European Super League. The European side decided to make their sides better. The reason as to why their league was really selling a lot was all about the style of play and the stars they used to harbor into their, into their league. Now, the English got to know that the style of football is really important. We've gone ahead to sell our league, but it is really lacking quality. They went ahead with the drawing board because they know that they had set up a structure of really having homegrown best players, but they are really not talented. Remember, Arsene Wenger used to play an Arsenal side without an English player. So what they did, they got to know that they are lacking quality. They went ahead to improve their academies. That's why you should eat that. England is now having a good crop of young players. Judy Bellingham, right? Uh, look at the likes of James Madison, Bukayo Saka, uh, Declan Rice, um, John Stones, you know, Luke Shaw, look at um, this other left back, Chilwell, you know, when you look at players like uh, Oli Watkins, you know, so they've gone ahead to obviously change everything. Anthony Gordon, Emily Smith, the young players are really coming in, they're really English. They are the Ramses, Jacob Ramses of this world, they are really do looking great. And they went ahead and really reformed that. After that reform was made, <coughs> you see to it that players of England have now started to evenly get distributed in different leagues because of their quality. Jordan Sancho was down in Germany. Now look at how uh, Judy Bellingham was sold to Borussia Dortmund and now he's playing at Real Madrid and is taken to be one of the most influential players on that side. And he costed 116 million pounds. You get? So even the outside clubs have started to appreciate English players and this was their plan. And that has gone ahead to take the Premier League to the next level. They've gone ahead to bring in elite managers. You look at teams like Aston Villa having Unai Emery. You get? So, and Unai Emery was managing one of the top sides in the La Liga. So that's what they've gone ahead to draw. And I don't think any Premier League is going to decide with the Super League because they have their own Super League. And if it means to obviously not be in the Super League, they can obviously play in the Premier League and we can enjoy this league because we have the best number of people to support us. And the La Liga was so much reliant onto South America. You get? Right now, right now, teams like Man United are recruiting team players from South America. Lisandro Martinez is from Argentina. Casimiro is from Brazil. Uh, Anthony is from Brazil. Facundo Pelestri is from Uruguay. You know, they're having close to four or five players coming in from that side. Arsenal. <clears throat> they're having... Gabriel Magales, Brazil, Martinelli, Brazil, Marquinhos, Brazil, and uh, Gabriel Jesus, Brazil, meaning that they've gone ahead to obviously build up a very huge fan base there because South Americans are very passionate for their game. So they've gone ahead to go in their niche. Man City has them. Julian Alves, Argentina, you know, Ederson Molares, Brazil, you get and very many others. They had Fabinho's, Kunagueros of this world. So they've gone ahead to build out a very huge plan that they've gone ahead to create a strong league. And this is what the La Liga should be doing. They should replicate exactly what the Premier League is doing. How do you market your league to make it very strong? You know, and every player right now is Premier League looking. They want to come to the Premier League. Premier League has the money, it has the quality, it has the spotlight that every player will need. So, it's very hard for t a team in the Premier League to side with the Super League because they all pulled out of the Super League and right now Man United have gone ahead to distance themselves from the Super League and I was really excited to hear that because however much FIFA and UEFA need some really good changes but you at least have them and have a fair competition because the Super League is going to destroy football. Look at Girona right now. They are topping the league of the Spanish La Liga. Now, if you're having a Super League, Madrid will be having a budget of close to two trillion pounds a year, meaning that they can afford a squad, you know, of like even 40 players. So how can you compete with a team like that? 
Barcelona the same. And the teams in the La Liga are pushing it. Do you know why? They are really having financial implications. You know? They are really having financial problems. And they want to use the Super League to really exonerate themselves. But I don't think it's going to come to pass. Because we're not having Manchester United, Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham Hotspur from the Premier League. Even if you have others, it won't make sense. People will keep keen watching the Champions League. That is it. Now, the Premier League have also gone ahead to issue out a statement very, very long, and it reads, The Premier League <coughs> notes to his judgment in the European Court of Justice involving the European Super League company, FIFA and UEFA. This is a significant ruling, and we will now fully examine its implications for the game. The ruling does not endorse the so-called European Super League. The Premier League continues to reject any such concept. Supporters are of vital importance to the game, and they have time and again made clear their, their opposition to a breakaway competition that serves the link between domestic and European football. The Premier League reiterates its, its commitment to the clear principles of open competition that underpin the success of domestic and international club competitions. Football thrives on competitiveness created by promotion and relegation, the annual merit best qualification from domestic leagues and caps to international club competitions, and the long standing rivalries and riches that come with weekends being reserved for domestic football. These principles are, en are, en are enshrined in the Premier League Owners' Charter introduced in June 2022 with aims to improve the collective strength and competitiveness of the league in the best interests of the wider game. Since 2021, the Premier League, alongside other football bodies, has also strengthened its rules and governance in this area. The Premier League will continue to engage in an open and constructive dialogue with all relevant football stakeholders on how best to protect and enhance the complementary balance of domestic and international club football that's what the premier league is going to hate to put up as far as all this is concerned and to me i really want everything to stay as it is that is it i don't want to see any change made i really want to see the premier league state champions league there if at all they are adding um two more teams it's okay to see to it that these teams really go ahead obviously getting more money because we need to see teams like man united we need to see a team that qualify for the Champions League getting like a hundred million pounds, you know, for only qualification because the football, the footballing game has a lot of money and they need to consider that because what was really the narrative behind all this? Greed for money. You get so they need to find ways of obviously increasing more money into the game. So what are your thoughts about United distancing themselves from the Super League? Tell me what your thoughts are into the comment section below. Rokan David is my name. Hope you guys are really having a fantastic evening. First video of the day and more is yet to come onto this beautiful channel of ours. We thank God for the gift of life and we sign out for now. See you later. The Muslims. Barak Laufikum.